Hi there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Pritam and in this PTC Creo Parametric series. This video is going to be our last video on PTC Creo whole feature topic and the most advanced one. That's why we have kept this one in the last. Not only we will able to create hole here, but we can create secondary hole. For example, you would like to create a counter bolt drill at one plate and a tapping hole at another plate. Not only that, we will also able to add compatible bolt there. And then it's up to you if you would like to go with nut or washer or you can also add dowel. So without further ado, let's jump into it and let's see how we can achieve that. Okay, so here we are in our computer screen and then you can see that we are actually in assembly environment. Now we need to go here in tool and here you will see this option which says intelligent fastener. Now what I'm gonna do here first of all is I'm going to quickly locate the position of hole where we need it. So let me click here on sketch and then I'm gonna plot the position of these holes using sketch. So here I am taking these points like this and there we go now let's click ok and now here we have got these points now the next thing we need to do here is we need to click on tools and now let's click here on screw now here what we need to do is we need to select the position where we would like to add it so i would like to add the screw here and then this one will be the screw head placement surface and this one will be the nut or thread surface okay so this one the top will be the screw head and this one from where we need tapping now let's click ok and there we go guys we can see this 2d preview that will basically help us to assemble the bolt here as well as to create the hole for example here i would like to go with allen bolt and we also have actually option to set length automatically let's click on it and based on that here we can see the length automatically got changed and actually i would like to go with m8 here and again let me click on set length automatically there we go so it is actually giving us suggestion to do through hole tap but um, again it's totally up to us we can further customize it now let's click here on this plus button to see more customization option so here we can see drill depth is around 15 mm let's make it perfect 15 and the thread depth let's make it 12 so here basically we can also see the preview how we are modifying it now here i also would like to add counter bow so counter bore so now you can see that we have added counter bore in plate now um, we can also define the kind of fit so let's go with this close fit so basically here we can see the drilled hole is now just 8.4 if you go with medium fit now we can see that drill hole value is now 9 mm and then you can also edit this value by yourself now uh, if you would like to add washer you can do that but generally we do not add washer in case of countable so that's why i'm not going to add it now let's click ok now it is actually asking us whether we want to create this hole at one point or all point so this is beauty of it guys if i select this you know that i want to assemble fastener on all instances and click ok we will see that the hole is created the top one which is counter bore style and actually let me click here so we can see that the counter bore style drill hole is created okay in my bottom plate the tapping style hole is created 
and in case of assembly we can also see that the bolts are also placed so isn't it cool guys we just need to specify the whole location not only the software is able to create hole in both plate but also able to add suitable fastener so that's why this tool is known as intelligent fastener extension and at any time guys we can also change it for example i do not want this particular one i can click here on redefine and then from here i can go with let's say i do not want counterboard i want the countersink so here we have selected countersink and now let's hit okay and there we go guys in just a single click we were able to change our bolt and based on the type of bolt here we can see the plates also change the way the cutout should look like this is really nice guys in just a click uh, we can define that and if i click on delete the deleting is also pretty easy guys so in this way we can quickly delete all these holes now let's have a look on dowel pin let's say for example i would like to add dowel pin here so i'm gonna select again this point here now i'm gonna locate the dowel surface so since you know most of the dowel generally sit at middle place therefore i'm gonna select this surface as my dowel pin surface now let's click ok ok so here what we can do is uh, we can define the dia of this dowel pin let's make it 6 the width and then depth here i can make it 24 and then um, the depth can be equally both sides if I place it 12 and if I click on OK again it is asking me whether I would like to add this dowel pin at one location or all location I'm gonna say all location and in this way guys uh, we can add dowel pin and let me actually click on view and then here section view and when I create this planar view we can see dowel pin is placed inside so in this way guys we can quickly create hole we also saw how quickly we can add bolts add tapping in just a single click we also saw how quickly we can change the bolt style let's say from counter board to countersink we also see how we can add dowel pin here so you might have seen how powerful the intelligent fastener tool is i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow complete ptc career parametric series and i will see you soon in one such another video till then you take care and bye bye